Would you buy an iPhone 11 in 2024? Is it the right choice for you? I'm not going into details and the specification. You already seen so many reviews and details about this phone before like many years. But I will divide my answer, simple answer to these questions into four sections. If you're new to the iOS system or iPhones and you want to try a new one, but you don't want to pay so much money for it, like new, expensive, like 15 and 14th and all that. 11, it gives you a really good quality as a phone, as a system, as a performance, as a, even cameras, which is a really great camera used to 4K, 60 frames from the front camera and they give you the back camera. With a really good price, is a good value for your money. So I say yes. You can't buy this. If you're going to buy this one as a second phone, you already like, uh, let's say, an Android user, you want to go to iOS system, iPhone, but also you don't want it to be very expensive. So, of course, you can buy this phone. The good thing about backup phone like this is standby time. Mostly, I charge my phone last two days, uh, about 98%. As of today, is about 50 or 40% reach now with the third day. So actually it can be a good backup phone for you if you're not very heavy user on this phone. I use it like mid or to light use usage of this phone. Keep me going for days without leaving to recharge this phone again. If you are iPhone user, but you're still in the old models like, let's say, I don't know if you have four, five, six, seven. But your phone now is like getting really slow, maybe battery is going die fast for you as well you do want to break the bank and you know buy a very expensive one but you want to go to the you know, next level of the iphone this is the entry level of iphones the iphone 11 okay get you going with a new design better battery system a better processor good performance with a camera and all that what we mentioned before as a very complete system with a good price so you'll see a big difference for you when you move from these old phones. And it's still being updated up to date with a iOS 17.5. So the system still being supported by Apple. So I recommend you, you can get this phone if you value your money. And this is going to be your main phone. The one you're gonna use it very heavily all the day and you count on it. You want the performance, you want the battery, you want the cameras, you want the fresh rate, all this kind, even the screen, which is like not available on iPhone 11, which is still IPS, then this phone is not for you. I'm not saying it is a bad phone, but the main concern about this phone right now is the battery. And the battery is not going to help you to complete the full day. You have to recharge it again, maybe two times or three times, depends on how much you use it. If you are Concern about the screen, of course, the screen not give you the best colors. Also, the refresh rate, which is usual, 120 hertz and all, and this is still under 60. And you can see a big difference when you compare it to other phones, which is having better screen, of course. And you can see even a difference when you're watching videos, it's can reach to the highest resolution, of course. Uh, in conclusion of this video, what I'm saying to you, uh, it will actually apply to this iPhone 11 or even 12 or 13, whatever model you're looking for. Look for the value you're paying for. If you buy this phone for this value, it's gonna you're gonna need these all these features or not. You want all these features or not. Don't pay for something you're not gonna use it. If you think iPhone 11 is enough for you, just buy it. Don't think about all these kind of features. Don't think much about these features being advertised for. Maybe it's not for you, somebody else. So I think what is actually you want this phone for? But in my personal opinion about this phone, I'm very happy with it. It's giving you a good performance, good cameras, which I'm using right now, still give me a good performance and very good price. And this is, of course, your decision. And let me know in the comment section if you have this iPhone 11, if you think to buy it, or if you have any experience with it, you can share it in the comment below and let me know what is your experience. Maybe others can benefit from it. And thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.